Hi, this is Matt Sweetwood, president of Unique Photo, here for a very exciting day in the Unique Photo Superstore at our T-Mobile mobile store here. Hopefully, uh, we probably have one of the first videos going up live on this. We're going to do an actual unboxing of the iPhone 6, which was released today. Look at this, right? We need it's all yeah. pretty. Ooh. We have to look really good. Let me introduce my guest, Sean Robinson, with us today. Sean's one of our. But you're back. Sean's our chief technical consultant here, and we're going to have a little bit of fun. So let's let's get right to it, right? Yeah. Let's let's unbox that baby, right? All right. All right. Oh, look at that. That's it's legal. See, it's yeah. legal. The blade's legal, right? It's a Leatherman. You can also buy them here, so right. it's all good. Right. Safe. All right. Here we go. What do we do if there's like no phone inside? Call call one of the carriers. carriers yeah, right. Figure okay. out what the heck they did. Okay, we notice very Ooh. deluxe plastic on the outside. I kind of want to be fun with this. I want to just like dunk it in the water. Okay, see if right. It's see just if, as see if it's worth it. Can we close this knife, by the way? Yeah, sure. That's fine. Go ahead. You do you do your thing. Close close the knife. Why don't you take okay. a look at that guy? So pretty standard um, Apple treatment, right? Very simple yeah. simple box, right? Not much inside. There they've it pretty sits. much done that for a while. Right, they've done that for a while. Go so ahead, grab it see. out. All right, so. Feels pretty nice so far. You know, the the super This is the gray build right? quality. Yeah, this is the gray one. The build quality that's to be expected from Apple is the the same. And I mean I'm I'm by no means an Apple fanboy anymore, but right. they've definitely kept the build quality. I mean Yeah, I mean feel like it, compared to even even some of the high end Android right. ones. It's kinda I kinda still. I kinda like the way the um you know the glass sort of bevels around the edge, right? Yeah, right. Yeah, it, it really and it feels a little more balanced. Like I know with the iPhone 5 and with the iPhone 4, you know the back was a little thicker. It didn't quite balance in your hand, but you yeah. can see that this guy really kind of sits nicely yeah. um, in your hand like that. Um, and sort of in a size comparison, right? So we're sitting here. We have a Galaxy, a Samsung Galaxy S4. We have a Samsung Galaxy S5, and then a Nexus 5 next right. to it here. So if we sort of sit there and we place yeah. them in between, you can kind of see it really is very similar in size um, to the Galaxy S4, yeah. right? It's which, a little bit smaller. Which really is kind of about time, honestly, in my opinion. Right. You know, the, w one of the things that they always lacked was, you know, the screen size. And going from from a Nexus 5 to right. picking up an iPhone 5, it was always real small. Uh, the, the screen space always felt very very cramped. R right. And it's so. funny, you know, when I sit there walking around with my Galaxy S5 and you have people show, you know, an iPhone 4 or 5, it actually looks like a, mid, you know, like it looks a, like a toy. You know, today, today really it's well going to be a watch. Toy. We're going to, there's going to be a watch that's going to come out that's going to be like, a, it's going to be the LG size of an watch. An and an then iPhone we'll have 4. the iPhone watch out. And exactly. And the other interesting the thing I can see, right, if I sort of if I sort of compare it to the Galaxy S5, right, which is really the two latest phones, you can see the aspect of the screen. Oh, we can see that on the screen. Is the iPhone is obviously more narrow and taller. Mm -hmm. You know, it has a different yeah. aspect ratio, obviously, right? Yeah. Um, let's sort of turn the phone around a little bit, right? You can see the camera is sitting in, a, in an expected place, right? Yeah. You know, the flash is sitting there. The only thing I don't like about it, though, is, and this is the first time I've seen it, and I looked from the, the images, right. look at the camera. The camera is actually outside of the body this That's time. That's right. Let which me is something I know. Let me see if I can actually get that on there. I don't know if we're going to be in focus. It's not going to focus that close, it's but that, that close, get right? a good idea of it. You know, right. what, w one of the things that, that I can say honestly when I switched out of right. it and I went to an Android phone was the same thing. Yeah. Nexus has a raised... Uh, camera. Well, I mean, if you notice, they all kind of have a raised camera, right? You see yeah. the Galaxy S5 has a raised camera, Yeah. right? It is, it is protruding a little bit. You see, I wonder almost, like if you see, right? It's going to catch on it's stuff, gonna catch, so the case right? is going to be, I, I mean, definitely see, needed. But they created a bevel, a little bit of it. Let's take off the, the, um, yeah. the, the actual, look at this, one shot. A whole bunch of people online just kind of just went nuts by you taking the plastic off. Like, uh, oh, it's the best part that's of okay. it. That's okay. This is going to be the demo here at the uh, Unique Photo Superstore. So yeah. we're going to, uh, we're, this Once we're gonna, done, it'll go it, on it's display. It's going to go right on display, and then a lot of people are going to paw it. But you can see that it has kind of... Um, it's going to catch on Right, things. it's going to catch, It's definitely going right? to need a case. Right, so you can see the phone kind of sticks out, right? It kind of catches. Yeah. You the know, fear I always have. And, and I mean, look, it'll, it'll, it'll certainly do that with any of the yeah. phones, right? But, you know, wh one of the fears I always had with, with when right. I, even when I got this guy, right. that it, it sits up. So if you don't have a case and you put your phone down, you know, you're going to get the, the sapphire right. you can uh, see screen the, you can if see, it is sapphire. You can see it's, it's flush on, on yeah. this guy, right? Yeah. It's flush right All there. Right. Let's, let's let's see what let's else we got in the box, so, right? You know, to be expected, you get the power block, you get the the uh, lightning cable, and nothing else really special. Right. Granted, this is also this is our demo phone, so I think uh, all of them do come with the uh, headphones. Right, that's right. Um, could be wrong. Just have to double check on that one. That's right. But 
right, so and, well, and, that's and, that guy. Right, and you can feel here. And one thing that I really like is I love the material in the back, right? Yeah. So you can see there's no fingerprint on the material, right? Yeah. I'm pressing my thumb on it. You can see there's no fingerprint. It's got a really, a really, you know, as yeah. you can see, this is my, I'm a Samsung user, but you can actually see that um, this guy has a really, really... Typical build to be expected from Apple. I mean, right. they're, they're, they, they don't put out anything that right. is, is cheap. I guess that's would be a good right. way to put it. It's it's not cheap. It, you, you get a sense that you know you are getting what you pay for. You know the interesting thing is obviously you know the Samsung phone has that that plasticky back on it, yeah. which takes a lot of weight off the phone. You yeah. know, and I sort of have mixed feelings about that. On one hand, it's really nice to have the lighter mm -hmm. um, phone, you know, the lighter back, because if that back were metal or made of the same material, this phone would be really heavy. On the yeah. other hand, you know, this is really. I mean, this is very very uh, sexy. It's right? sleek. I yeah. mean, you can see when that goes in my pocket, it completely disappears yeah. right I'm ready for a, my a GQ photograph right now yeah right right although th and if I put th the galaxy s5 in my pocket it creates a little bit of a little bit a of little, a bump. little bit of a bump but right to, to, to what I know you and I talk about a lot because you know I, I had the Samsung phones with the replaceable backs that you right. can change batteries which is you know one of the big things that right Android's just had for years is that you know you can change the battery if you're a, you know a power user with the things right the the problem I had with Apple in general was that, yeah, you know, you were stuck with the battery. And if the battery died on you, if you're one of the people that kept the phone for a very long time, that was it. You know, you either had to go buy a, you know, a, a replacement battery, change it yourself. Right, or, that's right. Or bring it to an Apple store and hope that you still had Apple Care on it. But hopefully, with the fact that they're going to the bigger phone now means that they're putting a bigger battery in there. means that you're going to get a longer life out of it so that when someone actually is a power user with it, which right. a lot of us are now. I mean, these are these are made to be everyday use right. computers, I mean, I mean, not just a phone anymore. I mean, I'm waiting for them to put nipples on smartphones, <laughs> right? Because I think that's going to be the most soothing thing. That's the net. The as soon as they're is, born, it's just here's your phone and your they, baby. Exactly right. Uh, but let's let's power it up. Let's see, this is literally we just opened it, so hopefully it. Oh, it does power up. Yep, so it does come with battery charged. Little, there is a little. Uh, there is a little Apple guy in it. Well, come on. All right. Of course, we know it's going to take a while for that initial let me, setup. Let me check my email while we're doing this. Okay. Yeah, right? So, you know, the, the funny thing was, normally, you know, you, right. you, you always get a SIM eject tool, but there is right. no... Uh, there right. Is no so, so interesting. So it opened up right. It started up right. Um, finding Wi-Fi. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we obviously have free Wi-Fi here at the Unique Photo Store. So let's take a let's take a shot at that. Right. Let's see what we got here. Get her all set up and hopefully get into the. Uh, okay. Loop. There we it go. Did that right. It may take a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Yeah. Huh. And just like all. Oh, and oh, there, there, we and go. there we go. Hello. Oh wow. Okay. Well, let's let's uh, run through the setup here real quick. Let's um, let's get this guy here. Okay, it's all the normal stuff that right. get yeah, started stuff, and it just yeah. went right up. Right. So that is actually, I think, the fastest one that I've ever seen, seen just right. up and set up. Right. So. All right. Well, I think that's a uh, a pretty nice uh, unboxing. We have a. I How's really the like screen look? That's that's been one of my my concerns because. You know, we're, there, there's a lot of the, the, the fanboy arguments going back and forth between Apple and Android right. users where, you know, they're pretty much bashing each other on, on screen. Yeah, well, it's just a competitive like. kind of thing. So we can kind of see, we, yeah. we can hold the, hold the screens up together. Yeah. Right. So Galaxy S5, iPhone 6. And just then put the your, Nexus. Just put your own screen. And when, there. you know, when, when you look at them here, it's, you right. know, really one of my concerns was, was display because it's only a 720 right. display on the 6. Yeah. 6 Plus is the one that has the 10. 10, right. That's right. But. I, I you mean, know, looking at it here, I mean, it's. I mean, the screen is, is very smooth. The pixels you can see are very tight. You know, if you look at the text underneath yeah. the icons, it, it, they're even sharper than they are yeah. in the Galaxy. You know, this is one of those things where you know you can sit there and you can look at specs all you want, and you can read specs, and you can do all sorts of things like yeah. that. The truth will come out in the next couple of days and weeks when you know yeah. millions of these things get out into the marketplace yeah. and people really test them. If there's issues with them, you'll find them. If there's things that are really great about them, yeah. that's going to be talked about too. Definitely so going to be cool to see the people, uh, to see how Apple Pay you know, works on the thing. That's right. Um, it, it has been something that's been out as far as you know, pay, uh, tap and pay with Android for a while and Google Wallet. So it's right. awesome to see a company like Apple you know, embracing it in the right way, getting all the, the banks and the, the major credit cards behind it so that that technology now gets pushed. Because right. 
yeah, it's been here for a while, but it hasn't done that well in, in Google right. platform. Yeah. You need someone like Apple to push that. Well, well the thing is, what I think is really going to happen is, you know, if Apple really is successful, and it looks like, because I just got an email from Bank of America oh. yesterday saying, at some point, in, you know, like letting everybody know that, that yeah. you're going to be able to, if you have a Bank of America debit or credit card, you're actually going to be able to use Apple it's Pay. It's going to be all way set up, yeah. yeah, but way before, I mean, for them to send out an email, obviously there's a lot yeah. of demand. And you know that will actually push Google to, oh, yeah. to push. So I'm going to guess that we're finally going to be with some sort of, you know, mobile device pay is going to be yeah. the way within, I, I would probably say within the next year or two, you're going to actually see it yeah. widely used in, yeah. in, in anything. So I think we did a pretty good job with this. I, yeah. um, short and sweet. Short and sweet. Um, we actually have uh, iPhones uh, 6 in stock. We do mm -hmm. not have the 6 Plus. Nobody has the 6 Plus from what I understand. Yep. You can come in the store, order your 6 Plus. That we can uh, get for you very quickly if you come yeah. in and order. Come on in iPhone, and talk to Danny iPhone, and uh, we're, we're here on Friday, we have uh, we still have iPhone six. There's only a small little line in front of the uh, Apple counter right now, in the front of the T-Mobile counter. So please come down, get your iPhone six. We have them in stock. No line, no wait. Um, thanks, Sean. Uh, that thanks, was Matt. another uh, U event live. Uh, please follow Unique Photo at Unique Photo on Twitter, at on Facebook and Instagram. We hope we'll see you out there in social media. If you want to tweet. Um, or contact us about this, feel free to do that in social media. You can always use the hashtag UEventLive. And once yeah. again, that's at Unique Photo. Thanks Def for joining us today. And uh, add one last thing to Whoa, wait, 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 wait. Definitely keep up on uh, uh, on a future uh, uh, one yeah. of these U Event Lives because I think we should be doing something with the camera too. Right. Checking the camera. That's I know right. a lot of our customers have come in asking about the camera. I think so that's a great idea. We always forget about the little things while we're doing Th that's these right. off the cuff. So. That's right. So uh, I think that's a really great idea. So maybe we'll do a camera comparison, right? We've got an S4. We've got a next. We've got a bunch of phones here. So I think that really will be something that we're going to do in the next uh, little bit. Anyway, cool. thanks again for joining <laughs> us this afternoon and we hope we'll see you in the store.